am so proud to be here in the live free or die state. Uh, and I will tell you, I am used to the cold. Where I represent in upstate New York in the North Country, we have a lot in common with our granite staters right here today. Where I represent, it is Trump country, like right here in New Hampshire. <laughs> Every election, we say, is the most important election of our lifetime, but this one, this election this November, we know the fate of our great nation is at stake. We know this is the most important election of our lifetime because we have seen under Joe Biden crisis after crisis after crisis. Compare that to the incredible strong leadership of President Donald J. Trump. Let me start with the border. The border crisis, which is Joe Biden's doing, it is an absolute catastrophe. Across this country, every district is a border district. Every state is a border state. We're in a border state right here in New Hampshire. How do I know that? Because I represent a border district as well. And I will tell you, we have seen over 8 million illegal crossings plus across our southern border, but we've also seen a skyrocketing of illegals crossing across our northern border, including in the Swanton sector, which covers my district and right here in New Hampshire, over a 550% increase in illegal crossings, including individuals on the terrorist watch list. This is Joe Biden's doing. We know what works when it comes to securing our border. We know that President Trump, we had the most secure border in our nation's history. We need to build the wall. We need to end catch and release. And we need to restore the remain in Mexico policies that worked. And we need to hold Joe Biden accountable. And it's not just the border crisis. It is an economic crisis every single day that hardworking families are facing. Hardworking families right here in New Hampshire, hardworking families in my district in upstate New York, and hardworking families across America. Because of Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and Chuck Schumer's trillions of dollars of reckless spending, we now have the highest rate of inflation, Biden inflation, in my lifetime. People are struggling to make ends meet. The economy has plummeted under Joe Biden's leadership. Compare that with President Donald J. Trump, the strongest economy we had in my lifetime. We know that President Trump's strong economic leadership works, and we need to deliver that to save our American economy this November. And I know I, we can count on New Hampshire to get that done. And in New Hampshire, just like my home district, I know you have so many proud veterans. Let's give them a big round of applause today. I know so many of them are here today. In the House, I was so proud to work with President Trump supporting our veterans, and I was so proud that President Trump rebuilt our nation's military. Today, what we're seeing under Joe Biden is a, is a Department of Defense that's more focused on woke policies rather than lethality and making sure that we have the strongest military in the world. We are seeing weakness because of Joe Biden. We saw it with the catastrophic withdrawal from Afghanistan, an unbelievable embarrassment that our adversaries were watching. We have seen war in the Middle East, our most precious ally Israel, under attack, under Joe Biden's watch. And it is because he is the weakest commander in chief we have ever seen. Joe, B Joe Biden needs to be fired and we need to restore American strength in the White House. We need to restore and elect Donald J. Trump as the next commander in chief because we know he was our strongest commander in chief. And let me tell you, every single day, President Trump is fighting against a corrupt and weaponized federal government. 
We need to save this country, to save our Constitution. Just look at this schedule that President Trump, he's here today in New Hampshire. He just won a historic win in Iowa. And yet the Democrats and the radical district attorneys, radicals from the state of New York, are doing witch hunt after witch hunt. And we know why. It's because Joe Biden's polls are at the bottom of the barrel and Democrats are fearful. They're trying to remove President Trump from the ballot illegally to suppress the will of the American people. It's Democrats. Democrats who are attacking democracy. We are going to save our constitution and save this country. And that starts with making sure that President Trump wins in New Hampshire. And I just want to comment. President Trump is on the right side of history. You in this room are on the right side of history. I... I was so proud to ask those university presidents a moral question about being on the right side of history. We are on the right side of history. Two down, one to go. And I have been so proud to stand up for my district, for the American people in the toughest fights, whether it's holding those university presidents accountable, whether it's leading the charge against the sham impeachment part one, holding Adam Schiff accountable, whether it's standing up for election integrity, whether it's defeating Liz Cheney to unify the Republican Party, whether it's being the first member of Congress to endorse President Trump. I know that the people are behind him. You know, and I know, and Joe Biden knows that Donald Trump is going to win this November. Let's get this done, New Hampshire. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And God bless President Donald J. Trump. Thank you.